What is up guys? Happy New Year first and foremost. I hope your 2020 is going absolutely fantastic. So I wanted to give you a little bit of context of this video because I was editing it just then and I realized that there's just not a whole lot of context about what this is. So essentially this video is going to be a behind the scenes of my trip to Sydney to meet with my new sponsorship. So I wanna give you guys a bit of an in-depth look about what goes into actually working with specific companies being uh, affiliated and sponsored by these supplement companies. I wanna give you a look into that. It's just a little bit of a look, it's not everything that goes into it, but I thought I would give you guys a good look into my new experience working with a new supplement company. So without further ado guys, let's hop right into it. I'm gonna be at the airport in three, two, one. I've got a shuttle bus in, so I parked at a car park, which is a very, very important key if you're traveling alone. It's very, very easy, so a little bit of wake up juice because. So as I made my way through airport security, I was reminded just how annoying the entire process was. Luckily, this was an interstate flight as if I was flying international, I might just as well have given up. Only kidding, of course. Another thing I was reminded of was the temptations that airports inevitably have. Tell me why every airport I go to has a fast sushi restaurant and a gosh darn Krispy Kreme. I won this time, but there is only so many trips to the airport you can take till Krispy Kreme will come out on top and you just gotta get one of those original glaze up in your system. As I made my way down to the gate, I was greeted with a line that could only be described as unfortunate. But hey, that's just what happens. After a long wait, I was about third in line, ready to scan my boarding pass. And given that we live in a technological age, I naturally attempted to open it up on my cellular device. Now, what was the result? Good old buffering. Why Melbourne Airport creates some sort of barrier to intercellular waves at a check-in gate is beyond me, but it's just the case and I had to deal with it. I sat at the side of the line awkwardly while the Google did its thing and after what felt like two hours, but in reality was more like 10 or 15 seconds tops, it loaded. Naturally, I boarded the plane and found my luscious aisle seat, which is perfect for my smaller than average bladder. Now, there are three essentials that you need to bring on any plane. Firstly, a pack of gum because popping ears and bad breath are two things we never want to experience simultaneously, let alone by themselves. Secondly is lip balm. Thank God for lip balm. Thirdly, sunglasses. You got a black eye to all them haters. Now I'm just kidding. A book, of course. I'm reading Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. I have read a lot of his other work and this book did not disappoint. The flight was only an hour long, but this dude next to me still found the time to squeeze in a quick nap, which to be honest, it's oddly impressive. After a read to podcast, and a big yawn later, we had landed. Houston, we have touched down and it was smoky, both figuratively and literally. The scenes were electric, ecstatic and euphoric. However, the smoke from the Australian bushfires were in full effect and it was not a nice thing to see. From there, it was time to do the whole Uber from the airport thing where I proceeded to ask him two necessary questions that anyone asks an Uber driver. I have two questions when I get an Uber. It's either, oh, has it been busy today? Or maybe I might go as far try to get in depth on the motivation behind why he actually joined Uber. Which believe it or not always concludes with the answer of to make money you f***ing idiot. Hey, how are you? How are you? Been busy this morning? First we are going to be hitting the gym. I think doing a photo shoot there. So that's the gym we're going to be going to to fit and the beach is just like over there. I might go get a tan afterwards. I don't know if we have time. Alright guys, just made it to the gym so not a bad spot. Um, this is pretty much a behind the scenes of behind the scenes. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that for a little bit, just doing some work out behind the scenes, getting some product shots. That's a bit of it right now. Pause real quick. So I realized during this day, I didn't have a whole lot of time to explain exactly what company I'm working with, why, and give you a little bit of background about how we got in touch and how we are going to be working in the near future. So essentially the company that I'm going to be working with is EHP Labs, which their most notable product is OxyShred. That is their trademark product. It is the probably one of the best fat burners on the, the market. But essentially AHP Labs is a supplement based company that has a goal and a mission of making people's lives a little bit easier in terms of convenience and structure around their fitness goals. So these supplements that they create are just there to essentially make your lives easier and make it easier for you to reach your fitness goals. I'm a massive fan of the vision of the company as well as the ins and outs, the, the back end, the people who work behind the scenes in the office, as well as the people who work on the front lines in terms of the athletes, the affiliates, all that kind of stuff. And also it is very close to home. So their main office is in Australia. 
Australia. It's where I live. Ultimately, it's just a much better setup for myself to be working with them as opposed to another company. So I will make a whole nother video about what supplements I actually take from them and why I take them, when I take them, how I take them, pretty much a breakdown of my full supplement day. And if that's something you guys want to see, let me know down below by dropping a like and commenting and I'll get on that ASAP. Is this scary? No, really, man. Yeah. It's just like, it's just very tiring. You get yeah, tired yeah. out so quick. Have you not done it? I've done it, yeah. You've got to do it. And that's a wrap, guys. So, we're gonna go get some lunch now. So, I will see you there. Classic poke bowl. What do we got here? We've got mixed veg. We have salmon under there. We've got some edamame as well. Pretty good. Macros, carbs, fats, proteins, hitting it in. Also, some uh, organic coconut water gets their electrolytes. Because literally, guys, it's freaking 33 degrees here, which is freaking hot. And literally, if you walk outside, it will feel like a heater on impact. And you can't get away from it. It's really annoying. Next like guy. So this is like the most bougie gym I've ever seen in my life. Pretty picturesque. It's white like everywhere. I feel like this is like a teenage girl's dream. But um, today it's my dream, so it's going to be fun. Um, firstly, we are going to do shots for AHP, and then we're going to do a Q&A. It's going to be pretty dope, so I'm going to get some behind the scenes footage of that. Let's get it going. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. If you could be a Kardashian, which would you be? Uh, phew, Jesus. Got to be Kim, right? Why Kim? I just feel like she's the most... Notorious. Why is she the most notorious? I don't want to say. <laughs> What's the plural of moose? Mice. <laughs> Not quite. Meese? I don't even know. Can you do the vacuum abs thing? Now. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you show us? I'll try, standing up. How do you do that? Don't know. It's just a talent. Now you've got to practice. Can I do that? Give it a go. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is a wrap for this beautiful bougie gym that we're in. Um, yeah, so that was fun, did a little Q&A. Um, it was kind of like a 21 question kind of setup. It was actually pretty fun, so I had a good time. Um, that is a wrap for here. Gonna explore a bit more of the city. Yeah, go check in the hotel. Check it out. See what's going on. So let's get it. Definitely something. That's what I'm saying. Look at it. It's tall. Yeah, look at it. It's, it's tall. Tall. It's fresh. Look at it. Is See? it? You know what you do? You See? just fucking get Wipe that shit off. off. Yeah. Wipe. Wipe. Move like a meter forward. Yeah, wipe it off. Yeah. So the bushfires are still kicking on and the smoke's definitely still here in Sydney. It's pretty insane. Um, but that is the Sydney Opera House, and that is Lee Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty pretty. Um, it is much better when it's clearer, but you know, that'll do for right now. Forgot to mention guys, so that Q&A uh, that we did, you saw a couple questions, but if you want to see the full Q&A, it will be up on EHP Labs YouTube channel, so I will link that in the description. If you do want to go check out the full Q&A, it was really fun, so definitely go check it out and let me know what you think in the comments there. Instead, um, hotel elevator, as you could probably imagine, and uh, I'm carrying some stuff, so. Let's get to the hotel room. Shoo! All right. Wow. This is fancy smancy. Before we do absolutely anything, here's the quickest room tour of your absolute life. Tall ass windows. There's a gigantic bed. There's a mirror. Couch. Table. TV. Another table. Kitchen. Ooh, this is nice. This is bougie. Ooh. I actually really like that. I'm a big fan of marble, but if you're not wearing black marble, that is nice. Tap. Has the, has the pressure. It's good. Bridge, it is absolutely stacked with milk, which is dark. And now, that bathroom, which I am going to have a shower because I have not showered today, and I'm a little bit sweaty, it's been hot. So I'm gonna have a shower, and then I'll uh, see you after that. Probably gonna go explore a little bit, get some food, and then tomorrow we also have more photo shoots to do, which is really cool. I'm excited for that. Today was actually really cool. Bada bing, bada boom. All freshly pampered and ready to roll, guys. So shower is good. Now, my phone is just not charging. I'm pretty sure this is broken because it plugs into like six different things, and it's just not charging. And that's not ideal, guys. Completely out of battery. So I'm gonna go have to ask downstairs in the lobby whether they have an iPhone cord. Hopefully they do. Fingers crossed. However, what are the odds going downstairs? Only in my underwear to ask whether they have a cord. You ready? You ready? Three, two, one. What are the odds? Seven. Seven. Wow. I think we got it. I think we both got it. That's insane. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I am going a little bit insane because I'm quite hungry. I only had one meal today. That was a Pokeball. Yeah, I need my phone because I can't go anywhere without my phone. I am a millennial. It's just how it goes. You can't go anywhere without your phone as a millennial. So that is the plan of attack. I am excited. I am hungry. I don't know what I'm thinking. Probably get a salad and then something else to accompany that because that's only three meals for the day. So let's do it. 
Wish me luck, guys. Hope they have a cord. Later. Well, they did not have one because apparently people just kept stealing them, so they stopped doing that. Anyway, that is kind of annoying, but um, yeah, I need my phone, so I'm going to have to go buy one from 7-Eleven or some sort of electrical store. The only problem with that is they cost like $30 because they know idiots like me or people who are going to bring broken ones or just completely forget them in general are going to have to fork over the $40 for it. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to go do that because kind of need my phone. But check this. This is really annoying. Okay, so should like come up with something, huh? Yeah, so that. What does that mean? I think it's meant to have a plug-in sign. Like that, that. Now stay. Why does that keep going away? For fuck's sake. I reckon it's going to be one of those things where if I find the exact spot, it's going to be fine. I sure don't want to move it, but, but it found the right spot. And that's pretty freaking cool, man, because now I get to save money because that would have been annoying. I hate buying things that I just don't need to because this should work. I literally got this a week ago from like AirPods. Not move it at all. Hopefully the charges. Ain't that pretty? So you might have heard of the London Eye, but have you heard of the Sydney Eye? If you haven't, you have now. It's pretty damn cool. It is pretty, so this is about a two minute walk from the hotel that I'm staying at. Oh, picturesque. I think this, the sky's cleared up if you see that. The sun is red. I think that's from the smoke. Well, guys, I'm finished up with just a little bit of work. So we're gonna have some food, have an early night, and then a uh, big day tomorrow. Whoa, all right. Dinner, I am honestly so damn hungry. I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Hello. Pokeballs are great, but they're just not that filling, and that's all I'm in today, and uh, a power rate. So that's about it. Sirius, so just like, Intrusive, man. Every I don't know. I'm not even doing anything. It just comes in. All right. So we got a chicken salad there, beetroot, some carrot, lettuce, onion, tomatoes, etc. Then we got a chicken burger. If this will open, Shiza. Very nice. Chicken burger, avocado. It's from Grilled in Australia. If you haven't tried it yet, you gotta try it. Unfortunate for everyone else who lives not in Australia, it's probably not available for you. So I'm gonna eat that. And fun fact, it was pretty cool. One of the guys who actually served me watches the video. So if you're watching this one, hello, what's up? I hope you are having a fantastic day. So I'm gonna munch that down, go to bed, and then uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys, morning time. So I am feeling fresh and renewed. Honestly, this bed was the most comfortable thing I've ever had. I slept like an absolute baby. So getting ready to head out to the first photo shoot, which I'm excited for. But I'm first going to clean up, check you out, and uh, hit the road. All right, all packed and ready. How good is this for a makeshift tripod? Oh, see you later. Let's see the road. I think I might literally be the only person in the entire world who attempts to make the bed when they stay at a hotel. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a good habit. Ooh, fancy smancy elevator. This is so nice. Honestly, elevator lighting. It just gets me going. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, it's, it's not what you expect. No, not at all. Yeah, it's kind of like a hidden gem. Oh, wow. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> Get away from my crotch. <laughs> It was pretty cool, really nice vibe, motivational, etc. So they renovated that like I think maybe a year or two ago, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. Pretty damn spick and spam. So uh, right now, I'm gonna get into the shoot got at World's Gym. <laughs> Guys, that is circuit number one done, so I hope you're feeling good. We're gonna have a little bit of rest now and work out. I hope you got through everything. If you did, congratulations. All right, guys, that is the end of the ab workout. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you'd wanna see more of, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, ab workout, go check it out. It's on AHP Labs YouTube channel. It's phenomenal. There you go. Yum. Oh man, you wanna try? 3D, yeah. I haven't tried this. It's Christians, right? So what is this flavor? I don't know. It doesn't even say. It's, it's fucking white. white. Yeah, white I don't like flavor. that. Oh, it's like a pub squash. It's like a, you know, the lemon lemonade. You know yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of tastes like that. Okay, right, so that is a wrap at World's Gym Castlereagh in Sydney. It's a multi-level gym. It's pretty damn sick. Very nice of them to let us shoot there for a couple hours. So yeah, that was really sick. If you want to see their YouTube video, as I mentioned before, you can go check that out on AHP Labs YouTube channel. It will be in the description as well. Go check out that, show them some love. It's a pretty good workout in itself. So I know you guys will love that. Now we're gonna go get a feed. It's a delicious burrito. This is like just beans, classic burrito. It's a little bit, you know, it's not on the healthier side of things, but I have been eating very, very lean in terms of cutting. So having a little bit of a Christmas treat. I tried to recreate this once and it just ended up like the worst thing in the world. I don't know what they do, but they make it taste so freaking good. I must have left something out. Um, Cause mine ended up tasting like a, a healthy wrap and it was just not good, not ideal. Hey mate. How are you? Oh, 
been a busy day. Oh my god, guys, it is so freaking hot here. I cannot even begin to explain the the just feeling I'm going through. Jeez, I wish I was kidding, but this, oh my god, my set is so hot. It's not even been in the sun. Holy sucky mushroom. As it is currently 44 degrees Celsius at, what is the actual time? At uh, 6 o'clock p.m., 44 degrees Celsius, which is that in Fahrenheit. That's bloody hot. And literally, it's windy as well. So when I got off the plane, I literally felt like there was 16 air, like hand air dryers just going right at me. And it was just like... What is going on? So I'm going to have to blast the, uh, the AC right now. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm freaking out. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this little video of the behind the scenes with me meeting the team at EHP. I'm very, very excited to kickstart things with them. And um, yeah, really make it a great relationship. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know below by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Arigato, Mr. Robato.